Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love, and welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and click the notification bell, okay? I um, am doing a message for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, so this is just going to be an update to see what is going on, okay? So... Y'all, I'm seeing the word goals, okay? So, you know how, okay, so y'all know how when people like relationship goals, when they see like a couple doing stuff and shit, when they be posting, they couples be posting on social media and people say relationship goals, I was seeing goals, so I'm getting that um, you and your divine masculine really are um, a power couple, okay? If you two really come together and do what you're here to do, you guys really are a power couple, okay? I feel like when you come together with your divine counterpart and you guys merge as one, that's what people are going to be saying, okay? I feel like it's going to be this energy of like, oh, goals, okay? But I also just saw soccer, okay? You know, like the goal person, the person that guard and try to keep the ball from going in. So I feel like, um, I feel like somebody just definitely scored, okay? I feel like there could have been some people in some situations and just some things that just, we're blocking your connection with your divine counterpart, okay? Um, just like the the goalie person. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but the person who stand there and try to guard the ball from going in. I feel like one or more people in this connection kept trying behind closed doors to um like score or to do what was needed, but there was there was some type of blockage that kept happening, okay? So I feel like there was something in the way. So I feel like even the blockages were faded, okay? Because there could be lessons that still had to be learned when it comes to you and your divine partner, okay? I'm seeing the word go here, okay? So I feel like, um, who is that, E40? Yeah, E40, tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. So I feel like now it's like this um waiting game, okay? It's... I'm getting the saying, you guys, that it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when at this point, okay? It's already done. It has already been written. I mean, you know, in the Bible where Jesus says it is written, it has already been written, okay? It's already done. So now it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of time, okay? Um, even with E-40, who's saying, you know, who's the rapper that has that song, Tell Me When To Go. Um, your person could be turning 40 years old this year or something significant about the number four or the number 40. Okay. But four is also the home. Okay. So I feel like you are definitely returning home. Okay. Or this person is returning home. If there was some type of break in y'all connection, there's definitely, um, a coming together. Okay. Like a return home. I feel like you definitely have roots with this person. Cause the, um, four is the, um, generation of roots. So this is definitely your soulmate. The letter E vibrates the number five. Okay. So I feel like you guys both had to go through a very transform transformative cycle. Okay. And I feel like it's over now. Okay. Cause five is the month of May. Okay. So I feel like five, the month of May is the last month of drought. Okay. I don't know why I just heard the drought is over. Okay. But I feel like, like I said, it's, it's go time now. It's not even a matter of if it's just a matter of when I feel like the divine feminine is just sitting back and letting her intuition listen or letting her intuition guide her. And I feel like the divine masculine is about to go through a lot of things that's finally going to wake the divine masculine up, okay? Um, I, I'm seeing owls, okay? So you could, you guys could be seeing owls or symbolic meanings of owls through like tattoos or commercials or movies, or you could actually see an actual owl, okay? Owls represent wisdom, okay? Owls are very, um, they're like the most misunderstood creature out there like scientists don't know why owls do what they're what they do they're very 
um secretive okay it's like they have some type of secret knowledge or some type of secret wisdom or something so i feel like that's you and your divine counterpart but i feel like your memories are you you both are going to start to get your memories back okay i don't know why i just heard bluetooth okay so i'm getting like the red versus the blues okay in the spiritual war okay with the red versus the blues and i feel like you and your person are like the blue anunnakis okay the blue people or the people with the had the blue blood the originals with the blue blood okay um i feel like someone could be having tooth pain or there could be some type of tooth extraction that you or your divine partner are going is having to go through okay or this could be both or there's something dealing with like um dental work okay but then i'm also getting the tooth fairy okay so i feel like you guys could be fairies I feel like you and your divine partnership, your divine counterpart could be like a part of the, um, like some type of fairy tribe or some type of, um, fairy family. All right. And another life. Okay. And I feel like you're going to be like getting memories back about it. Okay. And even E40 is nine, five and four is nine. So I feel like May is the last month of discord. Okay. I feel like even now you are, even when I said the, the, um, the word discord, okay. I'm saying cord, the word cord, C-O-R-D. Okay. So I feel like whatever obstacles that you were tied up in or whatever you were tied up in that was keeping you from your divine counterpart, like those cords are being cut. Okay. I don't know why I just heard, I think it's Mary Mary. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise you. So yeah, Mary Mary shackles. Okay, so I feel like the shackles are going to be like cut. The, the shackles are the cords and it's going to be like cut. Okay. Um, I feel like even like I'm getting praise dance. Okay, so I feel like you, there's going to be something to celebrate. There's going to be something to like, I don't know. I feel like you never thought this would come together the way you envision or the way it was in your mind but i feel like in the end this is coming together way better than you expected okay or way better than you could have ever imagined okay um i don't know why i just heard the word instruction so i feel like you need to really listen the both the divine masculine and the divine feminine really need to listen to intuition okay when spirit says move you have to move um there's a song i think it's hezekiah walker um grateful okay grateful i am grateful for the things that you have done i'm grateful for the victories we've won i could go on and on and on about your love okay but um in that song like in one of the ad libs he says i'll only move when you tell me to move jesus so it's like you got to be ready to move when it's time to move. Both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. It is no more time for like egotistical stuff and judgments and all like when spirit says move, you have to be ready to move because things are happening fast right now. Okay. And I feel like um, even in the word praise, I'm seeing raise. So I feel like divine masculine and divine feminine are raising to like and coming together in consciousness. Okay. I feel like your level of consciousness is rising. Okay. And you're now gaining the, those memories of things that you had forgot. Okay. So things like past lives together where you guys did not remember. So I feel like because of the raise in consciousness, I feel like you're definitely, um, remembering now i feel like you're also raising your vibrations and you guys are no longer fighting against each other i feel like you even if you are not in um even if you are not in contact with this person i feel like it's it's like this silence okay you you're either in silence with this person or you're just at a point where you realize that you and this person need to work together even if things are not that way today it's like you know you can no longer fight against this okay i feel like there's some type of clarity or something being brought to you to help you to understand okay may 23rd is definitely going to be very significant significant for your um connection okay so pay attention to the omens the signs and the symbols and the things that happen in your life um regarding this partnership in the month of may okay i don't know why i'm seeing princeton Okay, Princeton. 
So I feel like I, I got Princeton University, like the, the college, okay? So I feel like you guys were off learning lessons, okay? You both went to school. You had to go to school elsewhere. You had to separate to go to school to learn these lessons, to raise your vibrations and to raise your level of consciousness, okay? Especially your partner because, look, Prince, Prince Naveen. Remember, in one of the readings, we got the princess and the frog. So I feel like Prince, okay, um, somebody could have lived on University Boulevard or University Street, but I feel like the mass, the divine masculine definitely, um, is like getting ready to come out of college. Okay. They're, they may be in their last year of college and it may be real hard. Okay. But they're learning major lessons here. Okay. Major, major lessons, even in the word university, I'm seeing universe. Okay. So I feel like you got to trust the timing of the universe. Okay. I feel like somebody could be getting a raise at work or something like that. All right. I'm definitely seeing a lot of blue. I feel like um, communication is coming in, okay? Especially for those of you who have not been in contact with your divine counterpart, okay? I feel like um, communication is coming in. I'm definitely seeing a lot of water sign energy, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So I feel like your divine counterpart, you or your divine counterpart could be a water sign, or this could just be a very emotional time of coming together, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot of forgiveness that's going to be had. There's a lot of truths that are going to have to be said. There's a lot of understanding that's going to have to be, and it's just going to be a very emotional time, okay? Because there was so much pain done on both sides, all right? Um, I don't know why I just heard Nirvana, and I don't even know what it is, but I just heard no Nirvana, okay? So I feel like worlds are colliding, okay, for you and your person. Worlds are colliding, and it's no longer, you, you're no longer able to deny the truth of whatever this is okay um there's someone could have a, a ancestor named anna and i don't know why now i'm getting like anna coleman so somebody named anna or cole or coleman or anna coleman or something like that but somebody could have an ancestor that's like helping god this connection from the higher realms okay um, I feel like someone's very nervous to come towards you, okay? With nerve, I see nerve and nirvana. So someone is very nervous that these worlds are colliding and they're now like, are gonna be forced to live in their truth, okay? There is like no more running, no more hiding. You can no longer run or hide, okay? I need you to go back in your camera roll or go back in your notes, your journal, your diary, whatever you do, and look at April 23rd. Something significant happened on April 23rd that you, you need to see or some type of message, okay? Um, I don't know why I just heard trespass, okay? So, and then I just got the, um, what is that prayer? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts whores. And lead us not, okay? And sense temptation. So it's the same thing. Forgive us our trespasses as we, as we forgive the, those who trespass against us, okay? So I feel like this is confirmation. I feel like you need to, um, basically, I feel like for the rest of this, I don't know. I feel like for nine days, you need to make sure that you are consistently focusing on the Lord's Prayer, all right? But I feel like that Lord's Prayer, the part that really suck out is the trespass. Forgive us for the things that we have done. And help us to forgive others for the things that they have done against us. So I feel like that's a forgiveness. And I had already said that earlier. Spirit is going to ask you, you know, to forgive your counterpart, okay? And also, you need to be forgiven for the ways in which you reacted, the things that you said, the things that you did into, in reaction to what you feel was done to you, okay? There is a bigger picture that needs to be looked at here. And I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. You know, you need to really focus on that prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay? The will will be done. Okay? The will will be done. Your will will be done. You already... A will is something that a person leaves. Okay? So when they're gone, when they're passed away, people know what to do with their possessions. Okay? So just think of a spiritual will, okay? You left yourself a spiritual will when you was leaving the spirit world to come into the physical world, okay? And that will will be done. 
that will for you and your divine counterparts to receive your inheritance, okay? You left yourself an inheritance. You left yourself and your divine counterpart an inheritance, okay? Um, But that's what I was hearing, like, but definitely watch out if, um, don't let people, like, be very private about your connection, because even in trespass, I feel like people always try to come in between you and this person. You may have always said that. You may have always felt that, okay? Or your person may have always felt that. Like, it's always something or someone trying to come in between this connection, okay? Um, But I, I feel like somebody is finally passing the test here. Trey is three, okay? So I feel like something significant is definitely going to take place in the next three days for you. But I feel like you also need to go back to March 3rd, okay? And see what's going on there. Someone could be a life path three, or someone could be born in March, or someone could be an Aries, or someone could be a Gemini. Someone could also be born on the third day. Okay, but the three is the number of communication. Okay, so with Mercury retrograding, I definitely feel like if you haven't spoke to this person, there's some type of communication coming in. But I also feel like because I did see Bluetooth, I feel like somebody like I feel like your person, if you are not in connection with this person, I feel like you guys are in um, communication in spirit. I feel like you're telepathically communicating with this person, whether you are physically communicating with this person or not. But I definitely see cycles changing. And things switching up, okay? Somebody could be eating pineapples or needing to eat pineapples. Or you know how they usually put um, those like um, edible arrangements. I feel like somebody, somebody's um, divine counterpart is going to come in with like um, a fruit tray or like the dip chocolate or the dip fruit or something with fruit and chocolate, okay? So some, your counterpart is going to come in with an apology and have some type of gift, okay? But there's definitely something to celebrate, okay? But... I don't know why I'm focusing on that silence, okay? Um, yeah, I see seal. Something definitely sealed the deal with this um, eat full moon eclipse that we just had yesterday. Something definitely sealed the deal. But I feel like you need to um, you need to watch who you talk to about this connection because I definitely feel like there are infiltrators or trespassers or people that is coming in between your connection. I feel like you need to um, protect your connection, okay? I feel like you need to protect your connection by any means necessary, okay? Um, only you know what you know about this connection. Other people aren't going to know, okay? So I feel like even with all that's going on and trying to bring you and this person together, I feel like those outside forces are still there trying to rip you apart at the same time, okay? So it's going to take you and your divine counterpart to actually realize, hey, it's not me against you. It's us against them, okay? And that's what's, what it kind of is because it's like, there's energies out there spiritually that know when you, when these two energies come together, when you and this person come together energetically, that's going to be very powerful, okay? Very, very powerful. Somebody could be writing you a letter or something like that. I'm feeling that I'm seeing the color green, so I feel like you could um you need to be opening your um heart chakra, okay? You need to be honest about how you feel. You need to be truthful about how you feel. You need to put your ego to the side. All right, because I feel like I'm seeing horses and horses are a method of travel. So you could be at a distance from your person like you guys could live in like a different um, city, state, country, whatever. OK, or this distance distance could just be um, like you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now. All right. We're going to pull some cards and just confirm and see what we can get as an update today, but I definitely feel like May is the end of the conflict from what I got telepathically. Um, I feel like May is the end of the conflict with you and your person, okay? And you'll know because I feel like you'll if this resonates with you, you've already been feeling it, okay? Wow, you got the Queen of Winter. It says strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. So I feel like this is you. This is the Queen. This is the Queen. You got the Eight of Springs. And these are little dandelions. So I feel like, you know how people blow 
on these things and make a wish and they go blow. I feel like somebody could have made a wish, okay? And whatever wish you made when you blew on these things right here, that wish is coming true. And why do I say that? Because in this card, I'm seeing Aladdin in the magic carpet. All right. And you know how the genie in, in Aladdin, you know how the genie gave him three wishes. And look at that carpet. This is wishes coming true. Okay. I don't care what the cards say. I, I read beyond it. This is wishes coming true. Somebody made a wish. If you ever made a wish and you blew on something, you blew on those little dandelions, that wish is coming true. Okay. And something's happening in the next eight days. Okay. But you a queen. I feel like you could be um, Divine Feminine because the Queen card came out first. I feel like you could be stressing. The card literally says stress that comes from having many things happening at once, okay? But these sudden events or changes are going to be very successful for you is what the card says. So Divine Feminine, I feel like you are very overwhelmed because... The bulk of the pressure is on you. You are the one that is like already awakening. You you already know all of the things that the divine masculine is trying to catch up to. And then I feel like you're also, you could be trying to break free from some cycles. You could be trying to tie up some loose ends and clear things up. And I feel like um, you're overwhelmed. You got a lot going on, okay? And I feel like I'm hearing Ray J, if I had one wish, okay? I feel like you need, you like, I need a wish right now. Um, What's that song? It could be like airplanes in the night sky and shooting stars. I can really use a wish right now, wish right now. So I feel like your wish is coming true, okay? You see, go watch the movie Aladdin. And if you have any experience with the dandelion flowers, if you've ever made a wish on it, that wish is coming true. But you are about to have three wishes granted, okay? Remember the genie gave Aladdin three wishes, all right? And I feel like that's you. You've been patient. You have been patient. And you are about to get some wishes granted, okay? Something significant in the next eight days. What's today, the 17th? The 25th. So the 23rd through the 25th could be significant. You could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, Libra, okay? With this Queen of Winter, the Divine Feminine. You could have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in your big three. You got the seven of springs that says, be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. I said that you have to protect this connection now, divine feminine. All right. You have to protect, protect this connection. Your divine feminine can, um, your divine masculine cannot do this without you. And I know you wanted to kind of wash your hands with this person and walk away, but spirit is saying, no, it's time for you to go harder now. Okay. I feel like spirit is calling on you to, per, to do something, whatever. I feel like you could be a, a, a magician or you could be someone who is like an energy worker or something and spirit is calling on you to use that energy and use everything you've been taught to help your person okay you got the ace of summer yes new beginning in love honey confirmation it says open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one the awakening also of your psychic abilities and your spiritual epiphanies, okay? So I feel like when this connection comes together, you are going to reach a whole new level of um, consciousness, okay? You're going to rise again with the birth of this or, or the rebirth of this connection, okay? For some of you listening, if you don't know who your soulmate is or your counterpart, you're about to meet that person, okay? You're about to meet that person. And let's see. Oh, yes. Look at the card, the moon card, okay? Something significant about the 18th, but also the moon card is powerful, intuitive epiphanies. So letting go of your worry and understanding the truth of a situation. So this, this is confirmation that this um, full moon eclipse is bringing big uh, connection. Okay, you there's a wish being granted. You could really use a wish right now and it's being granted to you, okay? But you have to be assertive. You can't be waiting for something to just drop into your lap. You have to go and get it. Okay, because this, this is going to be a new beginning in love. All right, a new in the moon card is intuition and it's happiness. The numbers we got here is I think it's interesting that we got seven, eight, and nine. Okay, because it's all in a row. So I feel like July, August, and September is going to be significant because the moon card is 18 and that's a nine. So I feel like July, August, and September is going to be very significant. But I also feel like you or your divine counterpart or your soulmate could be born in July, August, or September. You could be a Cancer, Leo, Virgo, or a Libra. 
Um, you could be born on the 7th, 8th, or the 9th of the month, okay? But I feel like these numbers go in order. So I feel like something had to happen, like I said earlier. Something had to happen in a divine order, okay? It had to go the way it did. So there's a need, there's going to be a need to forgive a lot of things, okay? With 7, 8, and 9. And then right after that, you get the, the new beginning. Because 9 is the last real number, okay? Before you go to start repeating digits. And that's the new beginning. So it's like you went through a spiritual awakening with the 7, okay? You had to go through the death and the rebirth of the eight, okay? You had to close out old cycles with the nine. And then now you get your happy potential for a new beginning, okay? With this ace of summer, all right? And this is for the divine feminine because the queen of um, winter is here. Shuffling for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Definitely for it. That's too many cards. I don't know. Somebody could be getting like a, a... I don't know. My finger is burning for some reason. I don't know. What's going on with somebody's hands? Somebody could be getting gift activated. Or somebody like cut... I don't know. Somebody like is going to cut their finger or something about someone cutting their finger. Ooh, fertility, and it's the Leo card. Watermelon. So you could be eating watermelons, okay? You could be born on the 29th day or the 11th day or the second day, all right? You could be a Leo, but I feel like this is a very fertile season for you, Leos, and for everybody listening, okay? So I feel like you and this person are going to come together and give birth to something new. You and this person could even come together and have a child or you could already have a child with this person or maybe that's what needs to happen in order to solidify something for the long term, okay? But because you got fertility, I feel like you're giving birth to a lot of new things within this relationship, okay? Leo energy is brave, it's courageous, okay? And notice that this is a nice seeded watermelon, okay? This thing is nice and juicy and fertile and hydrated. I feel like you need to hydrate yourself, all right? That's all this water energy coming up. I feel like you need to listen to your intuition and something significant about May 29th as well. But I feel like for some of you, you're born on the 29th day. If you're born on um, 7, 29, July 29th, August 29th, September 29th or January or October 29th with that one, okay? Then this message is definitely for you. But I feel like you're, this is a very fertile time and you need to uh, take advantage of that, all right? I, I feel like during this time, you need to be planting good seeds for your relationship. It's no more to, if you go out and send it, sending out that hate towards your partner, that's what's going to manifest, okay? And it's just, I don't know, I feel like you, that's just going to mess everything up. So I feel like you need to be praying and putting positive energy into this connection, all right? 11 is the number of manifestation, okay? Twin flame, the two lines, the two people coming together, all right? Open up your heart and learn to forgive and learn to love again because you're very fertile. You got 33 wholeness and 32 vitality. All right. So I feel like things are coming back together. Okay. With the wholeness card. All right. Fertility and wholeness. And you could be 33 years old. All right. And I, I'm also seeing like you had to go to school and master yourself. Like the 33 degree masons have to do that. And you could be seeing repeating threes. And this is two um, master numbers, 11 and 33. All right. You also got the number 32, which is the five card. Vitality, okay. And this is the fig tree. So I feel like this is like coming back to life. That's vitality. This is coming back to life. It's whatever was broken apart is being brought back together. Look at that little hexagram right there. I feel like somebody had hexed this connection, even probably before you guys came into this life. I feel like this is some karma from like a lot of past lives, okay? 
because look at the snake in this picture. There was a lot of snakes in this um, connection, okay? There was a lot of lies, secrets, um, and people that really didn't want to see y'all together, but they was acting like y'all friends, okay? Anything else from the Green Witch Oracle? But somebody could be 29 years old. Somebody could be 32 years old. Somebody could be 33 years old, okay? But that's also five and six, which is 11. 33 is six. 32 is five. Yes, focus on your leadership. Six again, the broccoli card, okay? And this card has Gemini in it. Gemini is the twins, the twin flame. I feel like your partner could be a Taurus or a Gemini or a Leo or a queer. I feel like a lot of this is happening with the big sign energy, okay? Any more Green Witch Oracle cards? Last one, duality, the two, okay? And notice that's a 27, so that's a nine completion too. But duality is two, all right? So I feel like this is just representing both parties in the partnership, okay? But I'm seeing repeating nines. I'm seeing repeating sixes. I'm seeing lots of master numbers. You guys both are individually master mastering yourself so that you can come together and master the... Um, the world. I'm getting the Jay-Z and Beyonce on the run. I don't care if we on the run. Baby, long as I'm next to you. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. Okay, that's the first. That's the card that fell out. It's the number 28 card, new beginnings. So I feel like it's time to talk sense to yourself. And your partner, okay? I feel like it's time for y'all to come together and stop playing. But notice that the Queen of Hearts is on here. So somebody could be a Queen of Hearts when it comes to your Cardology birth card. You see that? It's a Queen of Hearts. So I feel like this Queen of Hearts, which is you. We got two Queens here. Didn't we have a Queen early? Yeah, we had the Queen of um, Winner. We got two Queens. I feel like Divine Feminine, this is you. You gonna have to be the one that talks some sense and so yo divine masculine because look they talking nonsense they they don't know what they're talking about okay yeah but someone's a queen of hearts okay which confirms because i know one of the queen of hearts birthdays is july 29th and we had that in this reading so this is confirmation especially if you were leo or born on july 29th but Divine Feminine, it's, it's on you. You're going to have to talk some sense into your person. I don't care if we on the run. Baby, long as I'm next to you. All right. Shuffling for the Divine Soulmate. This is way too many cards. We're not going to look at them. We don't need no confusion. And I feel like, look at this card. Look how this old lady, like, back there look at me. I feel like someone's mother came in between this connection as well. Or someone's mother is, like, upset because the, 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 uh, the divine masculine hurt their daughter. Look how the, the daughter look like she hurt and crying. And the older lady, this could be someone's grandma in the spiritual realm that's sitting here upset. And they like, girl, you can't give up. Look, they mad. This person mad at everything because this is for your bloodline, okay? So I feel like you got ancestors in the spirit realm that's like mad at both of y'all. Because it's like y'all letting y'all ego get in the way and not realizing that this is something that was being done for bigger reasons than just the fact that y'all was so amazing that y'all love each other, okay? This was generation, okay? You were supposed to merge together new bloodlines, okay? Go back to the... um. The, I think that's the Game of Thrones. You know how things were done back in the day. Promises were made, okay? You can't be breaking promises and breaking contracts. And I feel like the ancestors are not really ha happy right now because both of y'all, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, okay? But look how she looking at the divine feminine and you all crying and you scared the divine feminine because you was ready to walk away. But spirit, like, girl, if you don't grow up, it puts, like, if you don't grow up is what I'm hearing spirit say. It's bigger than you. This is this is generation. This shit is supposed to be here long after you gone. Whatever you and this person supposed to do, come together and do and build or whatever is supposed to last, okay? And y'all acting ignorant, okay, is what I'm hearing spirit say both sides, okay? You knowing in your heart, divine feminine, that you love this person, but you tired of this person hurting you and acting stupid, so you like, well, hell, I'm going to act stupid too. 
But look at it, look at this. Look at that stern grandmother. Like, get it together, okay? Get it together. Nonsense is what their cards say. Nonsense. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Okay. So listen, you you and your divine counterpart are meant for each other. I don't care where either y'all go and try to find something else. It's nothing that com compares. And I feel like someone could be like really be missing you or craving you right now. Okay. With this number 38 card, this person could be 38 years old and they could like really be realizing that you are the one and there's no one else like you. And divine feminine, I feel like at this point you sitting pretty and you waiting for shit to, that you already said to happen to happen. You ain't chasing no more. You like, motherfucker, I ain't got time. Choices, feeling blocked or restrained, okay? Oh, I feel like the, you both have some major choices, okay? It's the number six card as well, which is the healing card. So there's choices that have to be made to break these chains, like I was saying earlier, because there was a lot of blockages. There was a lot of other people involved, a lot of haters, like, you know. There's choices to be made. I don't know why I'm hearing. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. So I feel like somebody don't know. Like someone wants to apologize. Whoever like ghosted or cut the connection wants to apologize. But they feel like it's too late. They don't know if you will forgive them. All right. All right. Aquarius. So this is definitely confirmation because... We saw the Aquarius symbol earlier. This is the age of Aquarius, the age of twin flames, okay? Aquarius is the 11th sign, all right? Wholeness. Things are coming together. Your visions are coming together. Your truths are coming together. But it's coming together in an unconventional way, okay? You had to discover a lot and gain a lot of truth, all right? Aquarius is the opposite sign of Leo, so I feel like there was a detachment in its connection because Aquarius represents detachment. But I feel like, you know, your person could be an Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. Ooh. Capricorn card, dedication to achieve. So I feel like this is, yeah, Mars, passion, love, action, confronting. Like this situation has to be confronted, okay? And someone has to force yourself to be the one to step up and confront the, the situation, okay? Um, I don't know what a Uno card is, I guess. I could just pull up a couple tarot to see what we get. And then close this thing out. But basically, the overall message is that uh, this is the end of the beginning for you and your person, okay? This is the May is the end of the beginning for you and your person. All right. There could be a lot of decisions that are being made in the higher ups. I'm hearing ride wave. You know it's going to get rough. You, I know you had enough. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but definitely worth it, okay? Definitely worth it. But it's definitely not easy. All right, the Nine of Wands is Sagittarius card. Flipped over too many cards, but that is the Nine of Wands. So that represents the end, the completions, okay? The wish fulfillment, the things coming together, okay? The void being filled. Because I feel like without each other, there's been this void, okay? I don't know why all these cards keep coming out. But um, the card on the top is the Scorpio. 
um, seven of cups. I feel like somebody had way too many options and there was way too many people in y'all business because y'all thought y'all was cute at first. Y'all was telling people everything, child. He was, the divine masculine was talking too much. The divine feminine was talking too much and, and word on the street got out, okay? Word got out on the street. All oh, these two people coming together again in this life, okay? So y'all had to learn some major karmic lessons by running y'all mouth, all right? Running both of y'all by running y'all mouth. But you got the um, higher friend card. This is the Taurus card coming out again. Remember, right now we're dealing with the North Node and Taurus and the South Node and Scorpio. Okay, so with that higher friend card, this is a definitely, if you are uh, feminine, this, this is like, uh, there's an age different, okay? Because remember, Tarot don't really have gender, but... The higher friend is like an older masculine, but since Tara don't have gender, it's like there's definitely an age gap in between you and this person. And this age gap is like six years or more. Remember, we saw six several times. So there's like a six or more year age gap between you and your person, okay? You could have like, the person could be a, a Scorpio or you could have spent a past life with this person, okay? But I feel like lessons, again, with that higher friend card coming up, lessons, all right? Y'all had to learn some lessons and y'all... Y'all ran y'all mouth too much as well, telling the wrong people. Oh, this is who I talked to. And the whole time these people like didn't want to see y'all together in the last life or this life. Yeah, look. Look how these people like betrayed y'all. Look how this it's, there was so much betrayal in this connection. There was so much betrayal. And this is an Aquarius card again. He's holding like a, a egg in his hand or something like a, a something with light or knowledge. Like a, a, I don't know why I'm getting like a capsule machine or something that like once you open it, it opens up to some type of knowledge or something or wisdom. And that's what's going. That's what's happening with your divine masculine right now. This person is like, you see how this person laid their swords down. This person has laid their swords down and they surrendered. Okay, so your divine masculine. Divine Feminine, he is, like, he is now surrendering, okay? I don't care what he's telling you. I don't care what you think you know. This person is surrendering. He's laid all the swords down, and he's chosen to tap into this power of himself, okay? Look how the face is covered. This person could have locks or dreads or could have once had locks or dreads. Look at this person's hair, okay? Or this person could have thick hair. This Divine Masculine could have thick hair, all right? But this Divine Masculine... It's now going within. They no longer want to be at war with you, okay? They done laid the swords down with this full moon. That is a moon card as well. I just saw the Ten of Cups, the wish fulfillment. Wow, the Three of Cups, okay? Happiness celebrations, okay? Look at these two people. Like water in this flower in one cup. So I feel like you you guys are finally, look at the two angels on the top pouring into the one little angel cup on the bottom. I feel like the two angels on the top are you and your twin flame, okay? You and your divine counterpart. And you guys are finally starting to water this plant together. It's not just one person no more. You're finally doing this together, okay? So I feel like there's definitely going to be something to celebrate. But like I was saying earlier, I feel like angels, like you got a lot of guardian angels, okay? Possibly a mother because this is a cancer card or a feminine energy in the um, afterlife who's definitely like trying to help out with this connection, okay? Let's see what else. Wow, lover's card confirmation. This is your soulmate, okay? Lover's card. I'm pull from a different deck. You gotta play your cards right. So that's what Spirit is saying right now during this time. You gotta play your cards right. All right. Sitting here thinking about my life. Sitting here thinking about my life and how far a nigga came. Sitting in here thinking about the mistakes a nigga made. Yeah, something like thinking about your life. You, know, you, you reflecting, child. You reflecting. Study ducking the reaper. Everybody got a day. Hopefully I'll be ready. All 
right, so the Fool card is on top. We ain't even gonna look at the other ones. That's too many cards. But new journey. All right, and so go back to April first in your camera. But this is definitely a new journey happening for you and this person. Y'all taking a leap of faith with this connection and things are coming back together, period. <laughs> Knight of Wands, important, important letter. So there's a message that could be coming in for you, all right? Or you could be um, dealing with a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy, all right? But the Knight of Wands is something coming in. So, so like I was saying earlier, somebody could be writing you a letter. Or you could be writing someone a letter. Or there's a need for something to be said. So somebody need to be writing. All right. Too many cards. But on the top, you have the Five of Cups. It says money losses. All is not lost. If you look behind, you may have something to salvage. All right. So money loss. Okay. You feel, I feel like in this connection, someone put so much energy in that you feel like you didn't get anything in return. But like the card says, Leo, because the sun card is on top, like the card says, Leo, happiness is out there for you. You got to look at what's, what you still have left to salvage in this connection, okay? You can't look at the things that was lost, okay? You can't come back together still thinking about what happened or what the person did before. You got to look at what was still savage and that's the love that y'all have in y'all heart for each other throughout everything that has happened throughout everything that you guys have been through in this life in the next that's what can be salvaged that's why it can be salvaged okay for the simple fact that th the love is still there and love is one of the greatest vibrations it's the most healing vibrations it's what's needed okay so it's like that it, that's what can be salvaged the true love the unconditional love regardless of what has happened Wow, the sun card just fell out again. So I feel like that's confirmation. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Okay, and I feel like if you are Leo listening to this, this is definitely for you. And this card literally says marriage, happiness, and bright prospects. So I feel like your divine masculine is going to be coming in, surprising you, and um, proposing to you, okay? Or making some type of commitment. Um, we're gonna do, We're going to do some clarifiers and call it a day. Hercules. This person had to be strong. Cool to wait for both of y'all. You gotta play your cards. All right, let's see. Bottom of the deck is H. So you could be dealing with someone with the initials H. I already know what time it is. Time for y'all to get it together. 888. All right, so you're seeing eights, repeating eights. It happened in the bathroom, okay? So, I don't know what's going on, okay? But something is going down in that bathroom. I don't know. Someone's getting some messages or some downloads or something happening in the bathroom. Or maybe there was an argument with you and somebody with the letter H or something's going on with the bathroom, okay? Maybe you need to clean your bathroom or you shouldn't be... I don't know. Um, I feel like somebody shouldn't be sharing a bathroom with the Divine Masculine because if you are or sharing whoever you sharing a bathroom with they could have some energies attached to them okay you need to look in your bathroom or, or somebody going in the bathroom doing something wow no okay no 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 i'm gonna read it though it's rest in peace so check on your people okay because somebody finna somebody could try to do something they ain't got no business doing in the bathroom okay or somebody could be going through some things and whatever they do, whatever they do to, like, harm themselves could happen in the bathroom because you got rest in peace, okay? Rest in peace. I feel like someone's trying to harm yourself or, like, I feel like this is, like, some self-inflicted wounds, okay? And something is happening in the bathroom, okay? So, talk to your children, um, divine masculine and feminine. Talk to your person. Pray for your person. This is some serious shit, okay? I didn't expect it. Wow, hopefully you're not too late, okay? 
hopefully you're not too late but or someone could just be arriving late to the party you got top okay top finally you put my love on top baby you put my love on top wow how ironic that we would get the soulmates card soulmates You got five, four, eight, four. Leo, as soon as I opened to shuffle the deck, I saw Leo. Try harder. So Divine Feminine, I feel like this is for you and your masculine. But I feel like you've been like, look, I'm ready to fly away because I don't do it all I can do in spirit saying try harder. Let's see. You got seven, two, three, four. Patricia. Okay, so something about a Patricia or a Patrick or Pat. In bed all day. Somebody need to get up. All right. Hidden codes. Someone has some hidden codes that they're going to be getting. Snow dogs, okay? Snow dogs. So this is a white dog. And remember, I no, there's a reading that I did somewhere where I saw a white dog, okay? But snow dogs. So this could be a um, like a cold person, okay? A person that seems very cold hearted. Solaris, okay? This is a movie about. This man who lost his wife and he couldn't let her go. So he like kept projecting her images of her and for other people. And he thought she was really there, but she wasn't. To be and to have. Somebody's getting married. The dark night rises. Your divine masculine. The dark night is rising. I broke my own rules and I started to give a fuck, okay? And something's happening in a few months because there's months written on there too. All right, let's get a few more clarifier digs. Keep it moving. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't allow yourself to come. Wow, big miracle. You see that? And somebody could be dealing with someone named Joseph or Joe or Jay. But there's a big miracle happening for you and your person. All right, let's see what we got. The mask, the mask is falling. 17. There's a movie I think called 17 again, but you could have known this person um, since you were 17. Or this is an eight, so this person could be a Scorpio or this person could be born in August, okay? This person could be a Scorpio or a Virgo. Training day, <laughs> Denzel, y'all had to go train all right toy story one 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 the cat returns <laughs> they're returning okay they are returning period Jeez. All right, so we got little chair. So this person somehow, I, I feel like you make this, this person feel like low or small, okay? And that's that eight again, Scorpio energy. You got Molly, okay? And 4,100, which is five. Did I already pull from this deck? Yeah, I pulled from this deck. 
You got Dre and I don't remember, okay? So someone named could be Dre or Andre or something like that. Andrea and then somebody, like I said, somebody ain't remembering what y'all came here to do, but it's, they need to pay attention to the signs, all right? And the omens, because now you're about to start remembering. If you don't remember, that's what it was. If you don't remember, you're about to start. And then this fell and it says, I love someone else. So for some of y'all, um, I feel like you are not with the, like, for whatever reason, you're with someone that you don't love. And this person may still be trying to hold on to you, but you're, you, you like, you can't do it no more. And you're going to have to, you know, be honest because your heart's somewhere else. You feel, look at the card that I do. Wherever you're at, you feel oppressed for some of you guys. Okay. My ears are starting to itch really bad. Oh, so. I'm scared. So someone is definitely scared. You got incest. So this is definitely family, past family, okay? Newborn, all right? There's a baby that's meant to be born. A lot of possibilities can happen. We cannot presume to know them all. And what does that say in the bed? It said minutes. All right, so we have months and minutes. So many days, so many hours, so many minutes. Davis. Someone's name could be Davis. I'm not going to hurt you. So something like someone in this connection is like, I'm not gonna do this. Okay, someone could be named Tiana or did we did get Prince Naveen earlier, and this is Tiana. Y'all really have the princess in the room. Y'all see how every reading just confirmed the last reading. You are not focused. One more from this deck. And the number four again. All right. So we're gonna do one more deck and then that's it. But Oh, when you're ready, I'm here to talk. When you're ready to talk, I'm here. And Mercury, that Mercury retrograde is bringing that person back because things were delayed, okay? There was a delay. Andy, and Andy is in Toy Story. So you might need to watch the movie Toy Story. Green, I said that earlier, the heart chakra. Someone's having back pain. You need to have a lot more faith than what you have in this connection. Let's see. I made it. You made it through. We made it. Yes. Target. Someone was definitely, there were a lot of energies targeting this connection and so targeting both parties, okay? But I feel like somebody could actually be going to Target as well. You could bump into your person at Target, okay? You could be in the store shopping. Or if you always go to Target, this message is for you. Wow, I knew it. Somebody's saying, wow, I knew it. Oh, geez, I hate when the cards stick together. The rats have arrived, okay? Rats back with his star. The stars have arrived. All right, the twins are arriving home together. Don't fall in, okay? You got green showing up again. You got X because that X is returning. You got one header, okay? The commander of death. So there was like an ego death that had to happen. And there's a divine feminine who's the one header. Rule number one, let's see what rule number one is. Don't stress, okay? Do not stress about this connection. Okay, shirtless. So your partner could like walk around shirtless or something. Or this person now don't have no type of covering over their heart chakra. They've had to let their guard down, okay? Because the shirt covers the heart chakra. That's gone. They had to let their guard down. Okay, something about someone's uncle or someone's alcoholic drinking too much vodka. Okay, somebody could do hair. It could be a hairstylist. 
Wow, may we meet again? All right, so someone could definitely um, be trying to find you again in this lifetime, okay? Only you can decide what you want. Nobody can say it for you. Something significant about 1122, okay? You and this person could have a good time, honey, in the bedroom. And like I said earlier, somebody is having back pain. Someone's going through karma in I-49 because they decided to take a risk, but they didn't know they could afford, okay? They couldn't afford, all right? And now look, what a mess. What a mess for everybody because this person decided to take a risk, okay? This person is not happy. This person fake orgasms where they're at. They're not happy. It's just a whole mess. Wherever they went, they not even, they faking it, okay? They're faking it. Nothing is like them and you, okay? What that mouth do. <laughs> Nothing is like you to this person. Where's the baby? So someone could have abandoned their child, okay? And now they could be coming like, hey, I want to, hey, I want to come back. I want to like see my baby or something. Or y'all, somebody could be trying to get pregnant from your divine masculine. And they wondering why they can't get pregnant. And it's because this person is faking orgasms, okay? And they, they study every month. They like, dang, why I can't get pregnant? And it's because this person is lying and manipulating the situation. This person don't want you to be pregnant because they know that's not what they're supposed to be. Wow, they left me. So, yeah, someone has to leave in order to get to where they need to be. You got jerk. Somebody could be eating jerk chicken. Yeah. Yummy. Someone's definitely cooking. Someone's a chef. DJ. Someone's initials could be DJ. We're going to pull a two more. Wow. Ain't that funny, y'all, how we got the watermelon card earlier? Yeah. One more. So someone's definitely embarrassed, okay, by this whole situation. And I feel like it's the divine masculine. So I feel like the divine masculine is faking whatever they at. They're not satisfied sexually, mentally, spiritually, nothing, child. Divine masculine. But they're finally realizing. Remember that card? They finally done laid down their swords and they're surrendering to what is, okay? And divine feminine, you are kind of just sitting pretty, all right? And you, you waiting for everything that you already knew to happen to happen but spirit is urging you guys to let go of the past let go of the hurts forgive it's gonna say forgiveness on both sides it's gonna say not pointing the finger okay um that's just what it is wow i just happened to pick up this deck and look what's on the bottom the queen of hearts i'm gonna let it go at that okay a lot of you are queens, all right? And you are back on your throne. And everything that you wanted for yourself is coming. And the divine masculine is um, rising to the occasion, okay? But this person is going through the dark night of the soul. And remember, we got the dark night rises, okay? So a lot is changing. A lot is changing. And there's a need to put the egos to the side. Peace.